beautiful people welcome back to my channel so this video is gonna be all about IKEA I love IKEA and I'm gonna be going to IKEA very soon so I decided to do a video of everything I own in my whole apartment from IKEA I had these stuff for a while now some of it I got when as soon as I moved in and some of them I had like a couple months ago so they're really good products because if it wasn't they would be in the trash but yeah, I'm going to show you every single thing I have in my home that's from Ikea. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. This is a shoe rack. Could always add on and build it up. I could hold like about four pairs of boots, top and bottom. It stays white. I had it for maybe a good six months now and it works really well. So that's a good thing to have. This is a large floor length mirror. I also got from Ikea, this is called the Hovet. Might be saying that wrong, but you know, I'll put the name and how much I paid for it. So I already know how much I paid for so I paid $129. And for a floor length mirror, that's very cheap because they can get really expensive. So the reason why I love this floor length mirror is because it's wide and it's very tall. So I'm about 5'2 and I think this mirror is like about 7 feet high or 6 something. So it's super high and it's wide and I put it right here because it makes a great entrance mirror so I can see myself and admire myself. I can also check out my outfits before I leave. It's very sturdy. It's like really, um, it's, it's like a good quality. It's not like flimsy or if you shake it's not gonna bend. It's really sturdy and it's it's light it's sturdy and not too heavy and it's light and it's easy to like put anywhere in your place you don't need to anchor it to your wall which I didn't want to do because I'm renting I don't want to put too much holes in the wall I also have a welcome mat or just a regular floor mat it's super dirty I think I had this for about three years now I need to get a new one Okay, here's another thing I also got from Ikea. This is a curtain rod. It's very long, very skinny, and very cheap. It's made of like hard plastic. It's very strong. I had this for about three and a half years now. Normally it doesn't come in this color. It comes in a white matte color, but I just paid, spray painted it gold because of my, my decor in my apartment. So those are really good too. And I know like curtain rods can get really pricey so if you need curtains and you don't want to spend a lot on curtain rods I suggest you guys get this yes I got these from Ikea too <laughs> there's one thing I absolutely forgot the name and I was looking so hard to figure out the name of it because these curtains are pretty cheap because so Ikea curtains you could get before, between a low range and a high price range for curtains and I think like any linens they normally come in a panel of two so you pay two for one which is good but I'm I'm trying to figure out how much I paid you know what I'm gonna do when I go there today I'm gonna try and find the exact same curtains and let you know the price but I didn't pay more than 20 for one panel of curtains. So this is one of my favorite things from Ikea. This is the Kallax sh shelving unit. Took me a little while to get all the woods in there. This is one of the very first pieces of furniture I got for my apartment. As you can see my apartment is very open space and I know I needed a divider. Pink, that's because I painted it again. I did a video on that so go check it out go check it out so yeah so this is a color system it comes in like it has like these like four cubic um, spots that you could put any anything you want it acts as a divider and it also helps me um, you know store stuff on it these are I also got from Ikea so these were made for this system but you could also like you just have it laying around the house so these are the wicker baskets I think they still have these I'm not sure because I had these when I first got this I got four of these to fit in there so yeah and I normally just keep 
like random stuff in well not random like stuff I don't want to be out just to keep it more neater and here we have the star of the show my packed system so I did a entire video of me building this system with my dad we'll link that so go check it out go check that out yeah, so this is like one of my best decisions I ever made. So I used to have, this used to be just a blank wall and I had an Ikea desk. I sold it. I can't show you that because I sold it. So I had an Ikea desk and it was just there and I didn't use it. And I needed a lot of space. This apartment only has one closet so I need a lot of storage for my clothes and other stuff that I use. comes in three of these rectangles boxes and then you just customize it as you can see with my hand motion this was one of my best decisions it's not going to go into detail let me know if you want to see a closet tour in the future with what i have in here i will do that all right this is also what i got for my kids so this is a shoe box and because it's where i have the system is right in the open like right in my living area so I needed something that was pleasing to the eye because you know you just don't want to see shoes all over the place especially when it's right next to the kitchen oh one thing I almost forgot to show you is this toolbox that I got from Ikea and this is called the fixer a cute name this is a lifesaver when you're doing a lot of DIYs and a lot of building especially if you're gonna be buying a lot of Ikea furniture this should be like a something you must have in your home you're gonna be using it a lot and lastly I have this clothing rack from Ikea so this is really cheap this was only $12.99 if you have like a lot of coats and a lot of stuff and it has like a little weight to it it's gonna tilt a little bit to one side but it can stand on its own it's not gonna fall over but it's gonna be um, a little crooked it has wheels so you could just pull and drag as you go $12 I wasn't expecting a lot but it's really good I like it okay guys so that's it that's everything I own from Ikea I'm like looking around trying to figure out do I have anything else from there but I think that's all the major stuff I own from there so thank you for watching the video if you stay this long thank you so much I really appreciate if you haven't subscribed to my channel or if you're new to my channel please subscribe I will be posting on a regular basis I post like every week now more like home decor home details he'll have a little vlog here and there like this video if you enjoyed it just like it I know you enjoyed it so like this video if you enjoyed it comment below if you have any questions and thank you again for watching I'll see you next time